Hey everybody, welcome to AJS News. This is the second video we've got for you today. But first, a holiday sponsor. <laughs> hey buddy, what's with the unkempt bush? What are you talking about? This is not a bush. This is my Christmas tree. This is horrible. This is clearly a bush though. What? No, it's not. I've been using this every year. This is a Christmas tree. What, what would you do? Well, if you want your tree to shine, man, you're going to have to trim this bush up. You know, shape it a little bit. Hmm. Whoa, that's way better. It looks bigger. Yeah. It's a Christmas miracle. Make sure to grab one of these stocking stuffers for any of your friends or family that want to look clean and smell nice with Manscaped, guys. Fresh. It's really lip. important to take care of your stocking stuffer. Get them some <laughs> gifts. We got some gifts from Chad. Chad's giving me cookies and fresh baked cookies. That's Rogue's Apparel, our own shirts. As you can see, we have some new shirt designs in the store now. Yeah, like I hate it. it. I hate it. <laughs> this shirt describes so many things for you. You can just walk around. People come up to you. What do you think? of? I hate it. <laughs> Done. Buy it now. Okay. Support Alex. Support our show. And uh, thank you. Oh, we also have a second design. Grim Dank. Check that shirt out. So we got two new designs of uh, AJSA merch. We love it and appreciate it very much. Supports our show and independent artists. And, um, yeah, thank you all guys so much. So what has happened over the past week? Part two. All right. Square Enix sucks. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. No. Well, yes. And then no. And then no. It's like, Part, so it's like the, the issue I have is like, Half of the stuff they're doing is like, oh, this is really cool. And then the other half is like, what the fuck is what wrong the fuck with you? Is wrong with they you? actually want to make uh, PC games seventy dollars now. They want no, um, fuck yeah. you. So uh, Square Enix pushing for Merry next, Christmas next gen pricing to be the new standard. Um, no. So Final Fantasy VII is going to be seventy dollars. Mm, yeah. No, is yeah. it going to be a complete game? Assholes, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's. I knew it was going to happen slowly. Oh, it's no, no, no. a frog in the a pan kind of thing. Or no, pop. no, no. I want the complete game. They're going to charge. I want the full fucking game. Right. Well, so you get you get the the first no. part and the expansion <laughs> for no, that. Um, want no patches, goddammit. Oh yeah, there's patches, and then six months later, like Halo, you'll get your Forge, you'll get your co-op later if we feel like it. Uh, but you pay us full price right now, seventy bucks. See, Halo's on this Game Pass. You I try to start it. doing this shit, it. it ain't working. So put that shit on the Game Pass and the Play Pass. Because yeah. these prices are going to start to get out of control. I mean, they're already out of control. Would give me one hundred twenty dollars. Even Battlefield and Call of Duty stuck to sixty dollars for the base games, and so mm -hmm. and it's like, come on, come on. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see. I mean, this is if they want this to be the new standard. Are maybe they're just applying this to their PC games or just their consoles. This stuff. is the, this is for the PC. Uh, see, that's we cross the line. You know, yeah. it's like. I s oh, pay the premium to get these new consoles, and then you start fucking with the PC people too. Uh -uh. The new normal is even worse for most other countries than for the U.S. Uh, oh, yeah. Forspoken is going to be $115.95 in Australia. Gosh, uh, which is me. a lot. Um, I mean. This is bullshit, and often it comes without Australia's a so fucking Australia's so far away, reason. though, and you got to send the bits and the bites under the ocean, and those the, the submarines for the video so games the bits get lost are very and expensive. Patches. Yeah, and then they need patches, <laughs> and it's, it's really hard to get the video games all the, the way in Australia. Um <laughs> I mean, yes, Australia does have higher taxes, but this is just them being greedy buttholes and taking advantage oh, of a market sure. that doesn't have a choice. So um, it sucks. And, uh, I mean, I, I don't support that shit. So. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, no, it depends. It's yeah. just depressing because, honestly, it's going to go forward and then they're going to do more bullshit. More companies will follow yep. suit with the 70. It's hard to fucking hold the ground. Yep. But that makes our reviews all the more important. It makes, uh, you know, being careful with your money all the more important and voting with your wallet all the more important. So whether they are able to push it through across all of our video games or not, good. it's going to be good for indie games because I'm going to start to look for, for, you know, better games, more complete mm -hmm. games that are cheaper. Hey, it, it, game of the year last year was a tiny – I mean, it was – EA funded it, but it was yeah. an EA. Uh, it was a little indie company, and so yeah, it was like there's some it amazing takes ones. Two. I was right, surprised. Game one. I was yeah. surprised. All right, let's talk about Nintendo again. Uh, we talked about their refund policy and how they are dicks when it comes to refunds. Yes. Uh, and they are so uh, much so that they got slapped down in Europe. Uh, Germany and one other country was suing them, saying, "Look, 
if someone pre-orders your game, they should be able to get a refund before you know before the game comes out. And Nintendo's like, no, 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 no refunds. And they're like, no, no, asshole, that violates our law, and you're going to stick to it. And so N- Nintendo appealed, and they actually the and the uh, consumer group won. Mm. So they successfully argued that the refund policy that only lets customers cancel pre-orders up to seven days before a title's release is unfair because the customer has no way to test the game before it launches. It violates their their protection laws. And then you know Nintendo was just like no we're we're Nintendo we we don't care about our consumers and we want your money and once we have it it's it's ours period and so they got slapped down so that's this is great uh, for for consumers now yep. this doesn't apply to us at all what wait, what what well because it's German yeah it's, oh it's they, they I was hoping a little bit. Yeah, that would come over to the other countries. Yeah, uh, some of the other countries. So the, the Nintendo still has been is still the subject of multiple European consumer rights cases over the last couple of years, and a couple still consumer going. Consumer rights over here in U.S. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think. They- <laughs> That's what the, it's a little you know, parody of the CEO sitting around. Uh, yeah, uh, man, that stuff in Europe is crazy, man. But uh, you made a good joke. Consumer rights here in the U.S. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Well, they're gonna. I think they're gonna find uh, whatever loopholes over there. It's like, all right, what can we get away with over here and kind of. Make it swing to <laughs> I, I, I would not way. be surprised if Nintendo just raises prices in those countries just as a big fuck you. Ooh. Oh man, if that happens, we're gonna have to fucking we organize. Riot. We riot. We riot. Yeah. All right. Uh, Ubisoft oh, had a, a great uh, video came out this week. Uh, there was an NFT announcement. Uh, Ubisoft Quartz was revealed a few days ago. And uh, I don't know what it is now because you can't really track dislikes accurately anymore. But it was up to ninety five percent, ninety six percent dislike ratio. I hate it. Um, Fuck Ubisoft for doing this and moving forward with this. And like, we want to be one of the leaders in this category. And you dumbass was pushed and shuffled out the door, and everyone went. Boo! Boo! <laughs> and all the other uh, CEOs are looking out there in the schoolyard like, oh, shit. Uh, you know, and they're pushing their little fucking NFT kids in, in the back. Boo! We have to boo this man! Boo this man! Boo this move! And for fuck's sake, don't fucking buy any of the goddamn F- NFTs from Ubisoft. I'm going to beat your ass! Because th- I don't want this thing to become a thing. I don't no. want this thing to be a thing. All right. Well, let's get a palate cleanser, and we'll go into the next uh, subject really quick. Uh, Peter Molyneux. Remember, remember that guy from Fable? You know that guy? Yes. Remember? He has a next uh, a new game. Uh, Why are we moving on so fucking quickly? Because it's... Uh, NFTs should it's not be in the fucking in. video it's games. He's about to tie it in. He, he wants to make a game that's play to earn. The first ever blockchain business sim with NFT, all in on NFTs. Um, Fucking Peter. If it's got Peter's name on it, stay away from it. He, the man has bad ideas, and he no longer fucking cares. He wants money. Well, do you want to hear what his idea is? Fuck you, give me money. <laughs> That's po- his idea. So the point of the game is to essentially scale from a small local business into a mega corporation. Uh, the blockchain integration comes in the form of buying land. NFTs, which allow you to start a blockchain business association in the game while earning and owning your gameplay. Earn, uh, once you have an NFT, you get access to legacy keys, which then you can set up a no, set up non-paying players who then become your business partners, then pay you a percentage of their legacy coin. <laughs> so there's a cryptocurrency in here, too, called Legacy Coin. It's a new Shut cryptocurrency up! lying on the Ethereum blockchain, which complies with the tried and trusted ERC-20 token standard. Um, Shut your dirty mouth. So Peter was just like, he was on the internet. He's looking at jargon and buzzwords that he doesn't understand. He's like, we need the blockchain. We need it. It's like, Peter, what do you mean we need the that blockchain? Is I need NFTs, and, and I, need, I need crypto, uh, what, what is it? The, the, the bit, Ethereum, and I need all of the things in the video like, game, OPP, and then well, people you know give me we? the money. <laughs> that is literally a video game that Corporate Commander would come up with. Yes. Corporate, <laughs> Corporate Commander is coming back next year, Joe. Oh. When these fucking things come out, there is no greater goddamn transparent greed than the fucking courts, the fucking NFTs, and Peter Monolu's new fucking corporate bullshit where you go become a, a blockchain con- con- up con- my con- ass <laughs> and give me your money no but i you, hate it 
But you can get business partners, and they will pay you a percentage of their legacy coins. So it's you set up. What you're doing is you're setting up off. a really cool pyramid where yeah. you're at the top of the pyramid. All you make a pyramid below yeah. you where no, they're giving like a portion of their like a pyramid. keys. No. And it's looking like it's a most pyramid. If, oh, it's, fun, it's, an invert, it's an inverted funnel. Yeah. It's a funnel. Yeah. funnel. Yeah. <laughs> All the money goes to you, not to God. Peter. It, it's not. A, it's a pyramid. You just flip it upside down. Oh wait, no, we're looking at it. Wrong. It, oh, it actually shit. is. It actually is a pyramid. Damn it. Yeah. Um, it goes being boozled. That's bullshit. Uh, no, fuck this. And, no? and fuck anybody you know? who engages with this and games like this. I'm taking a hard line stand against it. Absolutely no. not. We're not trying Don't it. do fuck it. it. No. When this shit it. comes out, I'm going to shit all over it. And God damn it, this is why Literally. motherfucking YouTube <laughs> took away the goddamn dislikes. Because I swear to God, that fucking ratio would be ratioed like you ain't never seen. 95% fucking dislikes on that shit, I think I heard. Yeah, Wait, this person. is because there's a browser One, like, extension. This it is doesn't the last work week. well. The but. La well, it, this is the last week that the browser extension is... is Gonna Fuck. work. YouTube is taking away the API that allows the YouTube to. You know they took down the U Ubisoft video. They it took was... down that one and a Star Wars one. I want to look at the Star Wars one with so you guys later. The Star Wars one that I think they did take down. The this article actually clarifies that oh. Ubisoft did not take down the video oh. at all. It just was embedded in their website, and the they it's like no, we never took it down. It's still there, but it's not. It was never listed on YouTube. It only Ugh. linked to this thing. Okay. So we we wouldn't take it away. Yeah, but we, we yeah we took it away. I we need guys seriously as gamers, please 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 let us join forces. <laughs> we'll get some platoons and some divisions out there in the battlefield, and we will say fuck no. I hate it. We're not gonna engage with this shit. No. You're not gonna fucking turn our microtransactions and NFTs and cosmetics and into blockade. NFTs so that Ubisoft can generate a bunch <laughs> more fucking money and give you the illusion that you're gonna have property and shit and you're gonna make money. Fuck off. No. Period. You know what we should be investing in? It's a scam. Oh, it is. Totally a scam. But what is real is the ability to have sex with Keanu and Cyberpunk. And let's talk about that. Yeah, yeah. If I've you want it, it bad enough, there is a modder who will do whatever the hell you uh, want them to do. We had a wild interview with Keanu Reeves <laughs> this this week uh, for a promotion for the Matri Matri Matrix Awakens. Nice. And they were like, hey, are you aware that there's like sex mods uh, that where people <laughs> are like having sex with you yeah. and, and stuff? And um, what did what, what he say? He said, he said <laughs> when it's... It's always nice when it's nice. Yeah. And it's like, oh, okay. And then he went on to talk about, nice. like, digital VR porn and, like, nice, how it's Keanu. cool. <laughs> and it was... Matrix. I told you Keanu didn't care. Yeah. He's Keanu's like, like, yeah, you can have sex. Man. I don't go. <laughs> so he said, think of how much money is in porn, right? So you could not even have to be there. People could have digital sex with your avatar. What is it called now? Members only. He's, I think he's talking about OnlyFans because... <laughs> You know, I was like, he's talking about those sweet you know, those jackets. Those old jackets, yeah. <laughs> Members only. Yeah, yeah. And he's talking about awesome. sex. He don't give a sex shit. suits made he in Sweden or you. Germany, and he's oh, just like, God. and and then Karen Moss is just like, neat. All right, weird. But then what was kind of shocking is they're like, all right, well, so have you played Cyberpunk? And he said, no, I don't no, play video no, games. I play, I haven't and video. it's not a big deal that Keanu doesn't play the game. Like I, that yeah, doesn't I don't bother care. me. The issue was. The CEO of CD Projekt said that Keanu's playing the game. He's going through his own playthrough and, you know, all this other stuff. Oh. And so it was more just... He was lying. Look, this oh, isn't a huge man. story. This is just another long list of things that they're like, hey, marketing, Keanu's playing, yeah. and he loves it, and you can do all these things, and yeah. cops won't spawn out of the toilet. And it's like, oh, no. Yeah, they, and they he do. really likes level seven, and he yeah. told me that he got the collectible of this. None of that actually happened. Yeah, yeah. this is... yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they could. Uh, they'll fall back and they say, "No, no, no," because Keanu was in our studio, and I one time I gave him a controller, and he played for like ten minutes to humor me. So he played the game. So and he loves it. I am and legally, he's going to do his own playthrough. Legally protected yeah. <laughs> against. That's why he played the own game. And you know what? Keanu's cool because he fucking hates NFTs too. Yeah, I think they even brought it up in that interview, and he started fucking laughing like, at it. He's like, "What? Are you serious? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. no, NFTs suck." Get to keep them out of our games, goddammit. Yep. Uh, well, CD Projekt is now uh, entering settlement talks with investors. Uh, a while back, we talked about the investors in uh, CD Projekt were a little upset. They were not informed that they were releasing a incomplete, buggy mess that was so bad that even PlayStation said, we're not letting you sell your game on our sure. platform. Um, I don't think that's up for argument. Whether or not you enjoyed it or not because you played on PC... 
I don't care. It is what it They're, is. Yeah. But as far as the money goes, the investors said we missed out on a major opportunity. It sold well, but it could have been so. Oh. They they planned on it selling even better. They didn't plan on having their name dragged through the mud, and so the investors were going to sue them, saying, "Look, you have to disclose this kind of stuff because we have a contract that says you have to disclose this kind of stuff," and so. The investors claimed that the studio's management had misrepresented Cyberpunk 2077 over, uh, ahead of its launch. Um, they did. Uh, and so the court has suspended proceedings concerning the motion to dismiss due to the party having entered in negotiations yeah. concerning a potential settlement. So it looks like they're like, look, we don't need to take this to court. We'll just give you some money. Yeah. And so that's just goes to show you how far this actually went when you know the people like no but it was fine. fine it was just like no even no, the investors are like look this did not come out in the way that we wanted it to and they wanted more money yeah the projections were way higher and then they did decent but yeah yep. we still don't have dlcs we did have a new patch recently but we are you know we still don't know when the next stuff is coming and it just looks like it's going to be a long time coming yeah so all right. Well, actually, it was funny because like uh, my buddy was playing, and he's like, oh, "Actually, the patch was doing well." Then later on, he's like, "Oh no, it crashed on me." Yeah, <laughs> we'll put that closer to you. Yeah, Thank I haven't, you. I haven't gone back. <laughs> I haven't gone back at all. Maybe I will. Uh, no, because I have to buy it on PC. I don't think I own it on PC. No, I do own it on PC. The only time, like I said, the only time I want to go back is if they do the DLC. That's the only yeah. thing that'll probably make me go back. Uh, or did I play on your account on PC? Because mm-hmm. I bought it on PlayStation 4 like an well, idiot. No, I'm not going back till there's DLC yeah. or an expansion or yeah. something. I, I don't give a shit about, oh, it's fixed now. Okay, fine. Well, now well. give me the new content, and then I'll look at it, but whatever. Mm-hmm. All right. Anything else you guys want to talk about? Yeah. Uh, so uh, my did you know that the Xbox documentary is out? Mm. Xbox documentary, and we are in it. Angry, Angry Joe shows in it. Um, I actually realized it was out when it had uh, oh, a few people actually brought it to my attention. So thank you for that. Uh, but uh, Microsoft wishes that Lionhead was still a viable studio. Admits that it made Speaking a misstep in how it closed the fucking studio because uh, there was some good people working at that company that really actually enjoyed the they Angry Joe show. To connect stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, oh. they were working on Fable, and they had <laughs> seen our videos on Fable, at, like top thirty-two reasons, and they actually took the feedback and they were working on stuff, and you know, and would move it uh, in, into the future. But hey. Uh, they fucking close the studio, and apparently in the documentary it is revealed that uh, one of our biggest missteps that we learned from in the past was Lionhead. Uh, they wish that they didn't close the studio and had kept it going and uh, wish it was still a viable studio. Um, and that was in uh, later in the documentary. We, In case you were wondering, we're in it as well. Uh, we were asked to be a part of it. I, th- I think we're in the very last part. It's like uh, like part six. It's free now. It, it wasn't before, but I think it's free now. Uh, you can find it on YouTube. You can find it on Microsoft's website. I think it's on Roku as well. Um, but it's just a real quick part because they were, you know, talking about, you know, the me and Major Nelson were <laughs> had that big blow up on, on Reddit where they were making a nanny state console, always online, couldn't use by have borrow used games from your friends, all this anti-gamer, anti-consumer bullshit. And I was like, do you think maybe you guys could reverse your decision and, like, not do that because, like, we don't want that? And, you know, and he was purposely not taking interviews, and I managed to get one of the only interviews, and, you know, he took took away the mic, and he was like, well, it's not like we could just flip a switch, yo. It's not like you can just add yeah. a Slayer playlist. And, and then three days later, they flipped the fucking switch, and they, <laughs> they reversed their decision. And uh, in the documentary, they talk about, like, a, a, a once um, – intern you know had helped turn that that thing around and and uh realize that they were making a big mistake so i was like please you i was like you they were like can we use this this and this and i was like yeah you can but you you really need to use this this is the damning thing you know with the interview and stuff and then i look at the documentary of course they use all the nice stuff (laughs) (laughs) i don't get too angry in the documentary because it is an xbox documentary and it does sort of end on a positive note but it could have ended on a Quite a worse way, if not for the gaming community coming together and, uh, you know, trying to, to turn that, that decision around. Because, boy, you know, after watching that long-ass documentary, it's like 40 minutes each part, I, I realized uh, Xbox is fucking awesome. I was a long-time Xbox fan, even an X-Bot at one point, uh, just a huge fanboy of it. And uh, I just wish them all the success. And I'm going to keep... Keep my eye out watching that they don't 
misstep mess again up. and mess it up again with their fucking remote control TV voice active activated TV. There was a time where they were going in the TV direction. That's what they kind of framed my uh, problems with, but I had much more problems with that. Said a lot angrier, but they used some of the uh, the nice footage. But it was nice to be included and nice to be asked in it by Xbox. So Xbox knows of us. It was probably Major himself, actually, because Major's cool with us now. So, But anyway, just a little behind-the-scenes stuff. We are in the documentary for the Xbox uh, Power On, I think it's <laughs> called. Check it out. They talk about wishing they didn't close the, you know... Um, some studios, uh, the future of Xbox, Xbox's past, and how Xbox almost didn't happen, and uh, how um, Dwayne Johnson created the Xbox himself and just brought Bill Gates what? along. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. He revealed it. You don't remember, Joe? <laughs> I can see that. All right. Anyways, <laughs> thank you all so much uh, to our sponsors. Uh, Manscaped, grab yourself the Lawnmower 4.0 for Christmas. It's an awesome gift to give to you, your friends, or your family. Great cologne. Yeah. Perfect for the stocking. Appreciate our sponsors as always. Um, also appreciate you guys for supporting our show by mm. watching, subscribing, and grabbing some of our merch. We have new merch. Go check it out in the store. Some awesome designs just in time for Christmas for you to use your gift cards on something cool. Okay? Uh, Click the links down below, and we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.